Wish I could get off this train. I thought I heard you call my name. It was just the wheels a turning. Well, our next guest has been the opening act for some of the biggest names in music, including Bonnie Raitt, Art Garfunkel, Rick Springfield and the Steve Miller Band, to name just a few. Now she is back on home soil for a nationwide tour. Please welcome to the cafe and the Harvey Norman Lounge, the immensely talented Jackie Bristow. Yay! so much for coming in. Oh, now let's get this you. out of the way first. <laughs> you grew up in Gore. Yes. You went to school with this guy. Yep. Have you got a good story for me? <laughs> well, we grew up around the corner from each other. Mm -hmm. One thing I know is my sister kind of encouraged uh, Mike to sing at the Stepford the Rainbow Connection and kind of led him into showbiz. Wow! <laughs> so you've got this family to watch today. Yep, no, you're right. Yeah. Thank you. No, you're yeah. right. <laughs> Katrina, if you are watching, thank you. I know this family did. They were very encouraging and supporting, and huh. uh, uh, you know, their music careers have gone on to do some incredible things. Not so much music for me. It wasn't but... as juicy as what I wanted, but it was. <laughs> hey, Jackie, it is great to see you here. Um, congratulations you. on an incredible career. Let's talk about where you started, because you did say that. You grew yeah. up in Gore. Mm -hmm. Now you're based in... In LA. Okay, yeah, and yeah. you're writing music, you're performing full-time. Yeah. How hard was it to get there? Um, it's been quite a rocky road, you know. I grew up in Gore, made my way to Christchurch, Sydney, had a couple of record deals, moved to LA 10, 12 years ago, and lived in Austin, Texas. I've travelled around non-stop, work, full-time working musician, and I've had a lot of amazing things happen, but it's definitely hard work. Like, I have to keep pushing to... You can't just sit back and relax. Not really. You keep going, going, I wish going. I could. And if I had the number one hit, I might be able to. But and yeah. you're, supporting, you're supporting Bonnie Raitt, which is yes. a very big deal. I mean, how did that all come about? Did you just send her um, some music, or what happened? I was lucky to support her on the last tour four years ago, and um, that just came through. Actually, I sent the music to the, her bass player, Hutch Hutchinson, and the promoter here in New Zealand, Craig. And, yeah, I got chosen last time, and then I was very lucky to be ch invited back. So it was a big compliment to be invited back. Yes. Bonnie Raitt, one of my musical heroes. You must have done a good job. Yeah, was, yeah well, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so that's exci very exciting, yeah. And, uh, you know, speaking of the acts that you have supported, do you ever get to meet them? Because I've heard yeah. through... Yeah. You do. Yeah, because yeah. I've heard that a lot of the times so you just kept very separate. Michael yeah. Jackson, never seen yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> so um, who have you met? Who have you managed to meet? Doing uh, this? Well, Rick Springfield. Um, Is he cool? He, I, he, I was super, feeling, he was really nice. I thought he would be. He was really nice. Art Garfunkel, he was really nice. Oh, I find him really intense. Is he intense? He, he, was, a, he was a wee bit intense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was cool, though, he sang beautifully, and he was nice. And, and um, Steve, Steve Miller, he was yeah. really nice. Bonnie Raitt is, is just a sweetheart, because we got to hang out on the bus last time and the whole tour. So. What do you talk about? Well, Give us some tips if we ever bump into these musicians. What's a good conversation starter? I don't know. Do you know. talk about their music or do you talk about their lives? Just, just hey, how are you? And okay. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? How's it going? Nice day out there. Okay, I, I want to ask you. You do um, the big, obviously the big stadium things, but you yeah. also do concerts in people's in homes yes. as well. Tell me a little yeah. bit about I that. I do lots of intimate house concerts. Um, I love that because you're not competing against like bars and loud music and people. Um, you know, drinking and people yeah. chatting. So people just want to come and listen to the music. It's a real patron of the arts. And um, you might, it's like a mini festival, sometimes 100 people outside in a beautiful outdoor area or in somebody's home. It's, oh, and you get cool. to chat to everyone, meet all these people. I travel all over America doing that. So meet all different types of people. It's kind of like a concert in it, Southland, isn't it, yeah. when you do it in people's homes? That's, that's about as big as the crowds get. <laughs> um, but we are representing Southland. You're from yeah. Southland, I'm from Southland. Yes. And you recently teamed up with Jason Kerrison, didn't yes. you? Yeah. What was that track about? Uh, that song, Warrior Spirit, I wrote that. It's sort of about drawing from yes. my um, New Zealand Warrior Spirit. It was Soul Searching Time. I did a big trip cross country from Texas to California by myself, playing shows everywhere. and. Um, yeah. Then what? we invited Jason to sing, who's one of my favourite singers. Yeah, well, yeah. let's have a little listen to this, because this Beautiful. is an amazing track. Gonna find my warrior spirit. Find my warrior. It looks like fun. Was it fun performing with Jason? Oh, uh, it was awesome. Minutes? We performed at Genghis Cohen, this little gig in L.A., and my friend 
and a great music manager, Michelle Backer. So they're like, you guys have got to sing together. And then so Jason luckily came back over to LA. We went into the studio in LA and recorded it and had a fantastic day and then went and played a show that night too. Wow. Sing it again, yeah. And it's beautiful. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Representing yeah. Southland, that's fantastic. Okay, so Shot of Gold, your latest album, has yeah. received rave reviews. It's been really nice reading them. Oh, thanks. You're on tour at the moment. Tell us a bit more about that tour around New Zealand. Um, yeah, I'm doing my own tour with a fantastic guitar player, Mark Punch, who I've played with for years. He's over from, from LA as well to do the Bonnie Rate shows and then my own tour. So we're playing in Christchurch this weekend in Omaru and um, actually missing Gore this year in Vicargill, Queenstown, Bannockburn, and that, that, that's the end of the tour. And then fly up to do the Bonnie Ray. You know, you, oh, have, you haven't lost your rolling R. No, I haven't lost I haven't lost my New Zealand accent <laughs> no, at all. No, you haven't. Like, some people no. have lost their rolling R. Yeah, I have. Really? I've lost my rolling R. totally have, which is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's been an absolute pleasure yeah, having you in the studio. So thank you so much yeah. for taking mm. the time to come thank and have you. a chat with us. Yeah. And Jackie's Shot of Gold tour continues across the South Island, and of course, you can see her opening for Bonnie Raitt at the end of March. For all the details, head to eventfinder.co.nz.